Welcome to episode 107 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today I'm going to talk about a guide to blame and sarcasm and the one trait to cure them both. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. All right, the moment of clarity for this week is that any single moment in any single day, you have the complete power to change. It's all in your hands. Every time, all the time, you can change your mindset, change your thinking, change your response. When you're angry, you have complete power and ability within yourself to just change. That's the moment of clarity today. Don't waste it. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's face. All right, my pick for this week is a good old fashioned random act of kindness. So often we go through our days and it's just mundane and one thing after another. And a little random act of kindness can just make everything a lot brighter. So pick somebody and just do a random act of kindness today. You'll feel better, they'll feel better. Everybody wins. That's my pick for this week. All right, the last few episodes have really been shaping up to be a bit of my thesis on leadership and people development. In episode 105, I went through the critical traits of what I believe make up a great leader. Then in 106, I went all in on the importance of finding meaning in the midst of the fog of life. And this week, I'm going to get a little more practical on an issue that I think could probably be, or some issues I think could be probably the most divisive and destructive in existence. I'm talking about blaming and coming in at a really, really close second, sarcasm. So of all the episodes we made, this very well may be the one that requires the most maturity. And if you're not ready to be mature, to be open, to be self-aware, you might just want to close your browser right now. If you're watching this, wherever you're watching it, listening to it, just close the browser now um, because what I'm about to talk about may be a little offensive. Um, It may cut a little deep, might hit a bone, but I think for good reason. Let's go. So let's be clear. Both blame and sarcasm are just toxic. They are founded in insecurities and they completely jettison any form of personal accountability. They are never helpful in relationship. They are never helpful or build up an organization. And they actually just pollute culture. They pollute it. It's like dumping oil in some clean water. It pollutes it. It doesn't go away. You can't get rid of it. You can't. So if these things are allowed to go unchecked, uh, they eventually lead to an environment that, frankly, nobody wants to be a part of. There's no safety. There's no encouragement. There's no motivation. There's no, as I talk about, thriving. I talk about thriving as being a key element to organizations anywhere. People want to be a part of something where they feel like they're thriving. Blame and sarcasm crush, crush, crush thriving. Um in the end, they're bad for every individual involved. They're bad for every team member. They're bad for every leader, every stakeholder, every business owner, every client, every customer. Um, Eventually, they reach everything and eventually they ruin everything. You know, I've been at this point in my life, um, I've been a part of a lot of teams, whether that is work teams, serving teams at church, uh, a lot of jobs, a lot of sports teams through high school, um, teams of people that have worked on special projects, have been on a lot of teams. I've definitely seen my share of blame and sarcasm just discourage and drag down the general environment, the general morale, and you know ruin basically the potential of very talented and capable people Um, you know, when the sarcasm and blame is just allowed to thrive and be left unaddressed and unattended to, I can tell you this as a leader, as the more I lead, the the further I go, um, the business, the fact that we're in startup mode right now, I got to say 
that my tolerance as I go forward, my tolerance for both has diminished more probably in the last 12 months than ever in my life. Being back in startup mode and feeling the pressures of getting to profitability, of building a team that's cohesive, of putting together product and service offerings that really meet the client's needs, uh, shaping the client experience so they like working with us, they're happy with the work that they're getting, um, and this constant mode of hustle and back and forth. My tolerance for unhelpful, sarcastic comments, unhelpful blaming back and forth is really getting at a, to an all-time low. And I'm, I'm really happy about this because a lot of the times in the past, I think that I didn't address it because I wanted people to really like me. And what I've realized over the last few years specifically, and now kind of coming to the head that like doing things so that people like me is actually doing them a disservice, telling them the truth and doing things that cultivate an environment that provide them more opportunity is actually serving them more, is actually caring for them more. So if you're a person like me that likes it when people like you, be warned that the truth is the most effective thing you can give to someone to help them. Now, speaking the truth in love and kindness is also important. So, and we'll talk about that a little more. So blame sarcasm. 2020 is really the mature, the theme of maturity is quickly, quickly coming to mind. I think that this is going to be the year where I make maturity the focus of my business, congruent, um, any team that I lead, any organization I'm a part of, because I think maturity is a big part of the solution and it kind of encapsulates it in one word. So who wants to work in an environment like I just described? Like, I don't think anybody work, wants to work, right? You don't feel safe. You don't feel protected. You feel discouraged. You know, so let's break down both things that I've been talking about, blame and sarcasm. Let's break them down. So first, blame. So when you blame, let me just say, you will never, ever, ever have clarity. And when I say clarity, I mean perspective on what's actually going on. Because when you blame, you're actually passing ownership of the problem, passing ownership of your personal responsibility to someone else. Actually, you're voluntarily making yourself a victim to the situation when you blame. We see it all the time. Um, over the course of, of my last you know 20 years, I've actually done a lot of work with addicts and addiction. And one thing that's very common amongst addicts, and I think that amongst anyone who is constantly trying to back out of a situation is a little something called me. What about you? Maybe we'll put it on the screen. Me question mark. What about you? Oh, you're going to tell me I did something wrong. Well, how about this other thing that you did wrong? Oh, I missed a deadline. Hey, well, you've been late three times this week. Oh, I was rude to you. Well, how about the time that you were mean to that other person and me? What about you basically becomes a deflection point where I try to change the attention that you're putting on something that I may have done wrong. And I'm pointing out something that you've done wrong. And the thing that you've done wrong actually has nothing to do with my decision to do what I did, but it's a way to make me feel better about myself. Honestly, when a me, what about you is like, I might feel bad about what you just said, but I'm going to make you feel bad so that I don't have to feel bad about myself. It's really, at its core, it's based in insecurity. And so when someone's a me, what about you person, really, if you're listening and paying attention, what you realize is that other person is actually insecure about something and they can't stand up to the scrutiny and they certainly can't handle it in, in a mature way. So the natural defense mechanism comes up and, you know, having empathy for that and understanding like, okay, that response is actually because that person feels bad about it. And then you can really decide what you do with that me, what about you? So, I mean, the me, what about you mentality, blaming, saying you did this. Well, I did this because you did this. It's very self-centered and it's protectionism. Thank you so much for listening these last few weeks. I hope that it encourages you to be better, to serve the people around you, gives you a little encouragement, puts a little steel in your spine that guess what? You can do it. This is the Clarity Compressed Podcast. Thanks for listening. I will talk to you next week. Let's do it. Yeah.